Hello, it's Paul Driscoll here, aka The Drisk, and I thought we'd continue our 31 Days of Horror Challenge. We're on week three now, and let's look at some of the videos that I plan to watch in this week. So, for Monday night, we have the brilliant horror comedy called You Might Be the Killer. It was released in 2018 by Shudder, and it stars Franz Kanz. He was a stoner dude in uh, Cabin in the Woods fame, and uh, Alison Hannigan, of course, of Buffy the Vampire fame, and uh, she played Willow. They work together in determining who is the killer, killing all the camp counsellors in the wood. He wakes up with blood on his hands and uh, not sure what happened. It really is a fantastic movie and well worth your time. And uh, it is part of the Shudder subscription, uh, which you can do a free trial on. So that's one great way of watching it. So what a great way to start Monday the 16th. OK, let's go on to Tuesday the 17th of October. And for this, I've chosen a real... A classic that might have passed a lot of people by. It's called Witchboard and it was released in 1986 and it's all about the uh, dangers of using a Ouija board and um, it has the incredibly sexy Tawny Katane. Uh, she's probably best known as the girl in all those white snake music videos doing little wheels on cars and whatnot. Uh, she's gorgeous and it's uh, it was a great loss that she passed away far too early. And this movie itself is really fun. Um, it balances a nice amount of humour with the spook. And uh, yeah, I, I really, really enjoy this one. So I'm really excited to go back to this on Tuesday the 17th. Again, it's included as part of the Shudder subscription. So if you have done a Shudder free trial, you'll be able to watch all of these classics. Right, OK, let's go on to Wednesday, the 18th of October. And for this, I've gone for a film that I haven't seen in years, but I remember even seeing it at the cinema. Um, it was 13 Ghosts, released in 2001. It's loosely based around the 13 Ghosts 1960 film. I mean, very loosely. Uh, but this is a star-studded horror which uh, has a team of psychics and ghost hunters as they're invited to a creepy house. Um, it's very heavy handed with the special effects, but I, I still enjoy it. It's got a lot of charm. Um, it's available to rent on most streaming platforms for uh, £3.49. Right, OK, so we go on to uh, already we're on to Thursday and uh, we have the incredibly creepy 2001 horror session nine. Now it's set in an abandoned asylum and the workers are called out to remove asbestos from the building. Of course they see spooky going on. I love this film and it's so sad that it's not available on streaming anywhere at the moment. So this is another one you're going to have to go searching the digital high seas for or buy a physical copy. Does so the, the, you know, the the reason to own physical. Uh, it's amazing how many of these movies when you dig down aren't available even to rent anywhere uh, digitally so yeah you can really be messed up anyway let's go on to friday the 20th of october and it's our penultimate friday for the uh, of the week at least for halloween uh, so we have a chilling double bill to enjoy with the conjuring and its sequel movies so, as I mentioned, first we have 2013 film The Conjuring. It's directed by James Wan, of course, and uh, follows Ed and Lorraine Warren case of the Annabelle creepy possessed doll. Of course, they've changed how the doll looks from more the Raggedy Ann doll to a, to a more obviously creepy doll. It's a great, great one to watch and one that I highly, highly recommend. Uh, then we turn to the 2016 sequel of The Conjuring 2, The Enfield Case. This goes back in time to 1976 in England and goes through a, a real house haunting that gripped the newspapers back in the day. It's good. I mean, obviously, it takes a lot of liberties with that real story and... I have my own views on what that real story was, but nevertheless, it is interesting to see it's set in England. Uh, it makes it probably a bit more creepy in some ways um, for, for us that live in England. 
because uh, it's more relatable. But anyway, both can be rented for £3.49. Or, to be honest, I recommend buying The Conjuring Universe 7 film collection. Uh, it's only £29.74 to own it physically in Blu-ray. And, uh, I mean, that includes all the Insidiouses, the, uh, the Nun films, etc. So there's just so much to watch and enjoy there in that universe. Right, okay, let's go on to Saturday the 21st of October. And for Saturday we start with our usual family-friendly matinee. I've chosen Beetlejuice, released in 1988. This is Tim Burton director at his finest, along with a stunning performance of Michael Keaton, Gina Davis, Alec Baldwin and Weona Ryder in her first standout role. It's full of imagination and... It's wonderful as you watch this main couple, deeply in love, they just want the simple life. Uh, they pass away and uh, they find this horrible family moving into their home that they've spent so long uh, creating and, and have so much love. So they try to haunt them to get them out themselves and fail miserably. So they then see an advert on the celestial TV, Beetlejuice, who's a human exorcist and will also try to send the family packing. It's a great film and it's available to rent uh, for £3.49 on most streaming platforms. Now for our evening showing we have the 1973 film the Legend of Hell House, about a team of psychics and sceptics who decide to enter Hell House to prove or disprove the existence of life after death. Now it's based on the Richard Matheson novel Hell House and it stars Roddy McDowell. Overall it's just an interesting, very 70s movie. I love Roddy McDowell and that's probably why I'm drawn to it. Um, but I'm really excited to rewatch this because it's been decades since I've last seen this one so I'm very happy uh, that this is on my schedule to watch and um, it's available to rent on most streaming platforms for £3.49. Now on to Sunday, Sunday the 22nd of October and we have the teen matinee showing of Van Helsing released in 2004. Stars Hugh Jackman and the sexy Kate Beckinsale. It's an all-out action horror, more on action than horror. Uh, but it's a love letter. It's great seeing Van Helsing, a more action-orientated version of him, going up against all these classic universal monsters. So much fun. And you can rent this on Amazon Prime for only £3.09, so it's not too bad to rent. Now for our evening final performance this week, I've chosen the 2006 film silent hill of course it's based on capcom's video game about a mother who starts a desperate search for a missing daughter after a car crash she descends into a fog of smoldering ash and in the center of a twisted reality of the town's terrible secret now crazily this isn't available to digitally stream anywhere which is such a shame but you know so therefore you need to buy a physical copy or search the digital high seas for the film if you want to watch it. So there you go, that was week three of my horror schedule for October 2023. Uh, maybe there's some movies on there new to you or ones you want to watch. And, you know, just join me either watching them all over October or just watch, you know, do the entire challenge or just watch the ones you want at the pace you want. Uh, it's all about just having fun and getting in that spooky mood. So if you enjoyed the video, uh, consider liking and commenting. I'd love to hear horror movies that you're planning to watch over the Halloween period. I'm always up for new discoveries and, uh, and other suggestions. I think it really helps things like this because it just takes away that uh, reliance on there's just too, so much choice in today's world and we have so much easy access to everything that it, it almost freezes us into choosing nothing because there's just too much choice. Anyway, have a great one and uh, keep it retro and happy Halloween. We're almost there, guys.